Hello everyone, this is Balu. Welcome to my channel Civil Crypt. In this video, I am going to discuss about stress strain curve of concrete. From the basic point of view, let us discuss about stress strain curve of concrete. It is very important to know about the stress strain curve of concrete because these basics will help you while designing the actual concrete sections and to understand the behavior of the concrete. Here you can see the this is the idealized stress strain curve of concrete. What is this idealized term means? Because actually based on the experiments, they have got some another graph which is like, looks like in a, some other way. But after their assumptions and all other conditions, they have reduced this actual curve into this parabolic portion up to 0 0.002 strain and the constant portion in, from 0 0.002 to 0 0.0035 strain. So, it is called as stress strain curve, which is the idealized one. Okay, here you can see the FCK, which is nothing but the characteristic strength of concrete. And coming to the 0.67 FCK, it is compressive strength of concrete. And if you divide this 0.67 FCK by partial safety factor, that is nothing but gamma M. And this gamma M, which is nothing but 1.5 for concrete and 1.15 per steel in case of limit state method I am speaking. You will get, if you take this 1.5 in case of gamma m, you will get the value as 0.45 FCK. This is nothing but the design strength of concrete and this curve is nothing but the characteristic strength curve. This first curve is nothing but characteristic strength curve and second curve is nothing but the compressive strength curve and third curve is nothing but the design strength curve and if you see the curve it is assumed as parabolic this is parabolic up to 0 0.002 strain and it is assumed as constant from 0 0.002 to 0 0.0035 strain and this also very very important in interviews they will ask up to what strain the concrete curve is parabolic and uh, in what portion it is constant. In this way, they are going to ask questions and also I have covered lot of YouTube shots. In this YouTube shots also, I have covered lot of interview questions also. So, please watch those YouTube shots so that you can get lot of information also. And coming to the, the stress strain curve of concrete, what are the factors, the main factor in which this stress strain curve characteristics will depend on? The first factor is nothing but the rate of loading. And second factor is nothing but type of aggregate. And third factor is nothing but strength, age of concrete and curing conditions. These are the factors on which the stress strain characteristics depends on. And also, you came to hear that these terms. Have you ever heard this stress controlled test? Or strain controlled test? What does these terms mean? Let, let me explain these terms. When the stress is controlled and kept constant and resulting strain is measured, then this test is nothing but stress controlled test. And also if strain is controlled and kept constant and resulting stress is measured, then it is nothing but strain control test. For example, if you are taking a mild steel specimen and you are applying the stress like it will be constant variation. For example, 0, 0 0.5 Newton per mm square, 1 m Newton per mm square, 1.5 Newton m per Newton per mm square. And similarly, the constant variation stress is applied on the steel specimen and resulting strain is if you are going to measure, then that is nothing but the stress control test. Okay. Hope you understand the difference between stress controlled and strain controlled test. 
here i am telling 0.67 fcg is a compressive strength of concrete have you ever got doubt why this fcg is taken as 0.67 fcg okay now let us derive how this 0.67 fcg has came okay. basically you all know we are going to test the cube specimens of concrete to get the compressive strength of the concrete and also you know that 7 day strength is approximately 70% strength you can get and also 28 day strength which is nothing but almost 98 to 99 percentage of the strength is achieved in the cube specimen and this 28 day strength is nothing but the taken as fck characteristic strength of the concrete now let us derive this 0.67 fck how this came the first statement which is given by the is code is nothing but for example here cylinder strength here you can see the cylindrical specimen the dimensions also clearly given here whose aspect ratio is 2 cylinder strength is equal to 0.8 times the cube strength and the concrete fail set Eighty-five percentage of the actual strength of the specimen. So here you can see, as per IS codes, this actual st cylinder strength is taken as the compressive strength of the concrete. So compressive strength is here you can easily derive that compressive strength is equal to point eight five into point eight. and cube strength is nothing but the fck hope you are getting my point here at 85% only the specimen is going to fail so we are considering only 85% strength in case of compressive strength and also we are taking the cylinder strength which is proposed by is codes here cylinder strength is nothing but 0.8 times the cube strength here 0.8 times cube strength is nothing but fck so if you multiply these things you will get 0.67 fck which is nothing but the 0.67 fc which is nothing but the compressive strength of the concrete okay hope you got how i derived this 0.67 fck this is about the stress strain curve of concrete now let us discuss about stress strain curve of steel that is nothing but we are taking mild steel specimen mild steel is nothing but grade of fe 250 it is nothing but the mild steel and basically the steel is designated by the yield stress here you can see 250 you are specifying 250 is nothing but yield stress which is expressed in newton per mm square and also for all types of steel modulus of elasticity is taken as constant which is nothing but es is nothing but 200 kilo newton per mm square and also stress strain curves in both tension and compression is assumed to be same and also ultimate strength of the mild steel is nothing but almost it is greater than 1.25 times the yield strength that is f5 this is the basic things about the mild steel or steel stress strain characteristics and also if you coming to the curve here you can see this is a characteristic strength curve that means actual fi which is nothing but yield strength of the mild steel and if you reduce this characteristic curve to the design curve by applying the partial safety factor i already explained it is 1.5 for concrete and 1.15 for steel if you divide this fi by 1.15 you will get 0.87 fi which is nothing but design strength of mild steel and this curve is nothing but design curve and if you see in the strain axis it is 0.002 strain which is nothing but proof strain proof strain and this 0.87 fi by es is nothing but the elastic strain
and if you combine both these strains we call it as failure strain here you can see this is the failure strain and some basic important things you have to remember is as a carbon content in the steel that means carbon carbon content increases ductility is going to decrease what is this ductility ductility is nothing but the its capacity to undergo more strain or its plastic strain capacity it undergo more elongation which is nothing but the ductility and also as the carbon content increases the strength of the steel is going to increase that means sealed strength you know this fi is going to increase as we increase the carbon content but the problem is ductility is going to decrease see actually our intent is to increase the ductility because as the ductility increase the strain it undergoes its capacity is going to increase so that the whatever the structure in which if you see the structure if it is going to fail if the ductility is more in the steel then you can see the structure the clear cracks is visible in the structure so that you can say that structure is going to fail so that you can evacuate the building or structure that is nothing but the which is favorable for us but if the ductility is less then it, it is going to depend on the concrete and the sudden failure is going to occur in case of concrete you can see the brittle failure brittle means sudden failure is going to occur in case of concrete but it in case of steel it is ductile failure so our intent is to increase the ductility anyway our strength also is going to increase but it is not possible to increase both by increasing the carbon content that's what my intent to explain the strength is going to increase okay this is the basic understanding of stress and curve of concrete and also stress and curve of steel okay i already made lot of youtube shorts also covering the basic basic concepts so that you can get the more information and go through those youtube shorts and also the i am going to prepare playlist with the design of each and every section singly reinforced double reinforced retaining wall water tank and all other structures i am going to design in the upcoming classes so please subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon so that you can never miss the updates okay and my you can understand the my way of explanation with what is the reason behind it like how these expressions came each and everything i am going to focus on without any reason on i can't explain blindly to you okay if it is anything i will definitely focus on that what is the reason behind it and thereafter only i will do the youtube class for it okay see you in the upcoming video thank you